on previous Let's Talks, I've been um, talking about um, how to feel more normal. So when you are feeling really desperate, really down, on the edge, and your head is all of a muddle, and it feels as if it's out of control. Hi Vicky, lovely to um, see you here. And you're feeling out of control. You might be having great big you know, screams inside your head saying, all I want to do is just feel normal again. Okay, so now this short series of seven C's is about how to keep that normal. So I took you through various different stages before, looked at some, uh, a few different tools and techniques of how to get you normal. So now it's about keeping you normal. So we're going to be looking at, I'm going to read the list here so I don't miss anything out like I usually do. So tonight's the first one. We're going to be looking at or sort of introducing you to choices. Then we're going to be doing courage, communication, control, commitment, consistency and conscientiousness. All right, so that's what we've got planned for the next seven weeks. So if you look up choices in the dictionary, it'll, it'll say something like selecting an option or um, selecting a... Um, what was the word uh, a preference to what you want okay and this choice or this preference is is really important because whatever is going on in your life whatever thoughts that you are having we do have choices about how we feel about it how we think about it and um, what we can do about it sometimes it may be that the um, the change might at this time um, affect too many other people. So it might be, um, you know, if you've got children, it might have too much effect on your children, for example, or on your marriage or your relationship with your parents or your friends or your work. And so then it's about your choices about how you um, react to it it's your thought processes then that are going to be really really important okay so the first thing about making choices is to really have a think about where you are today okay where you are in your life at the present not where you were before because that's gone all right, you can't do anything about that and not about the future because what happens today will have an effect on the future. OK, so it's about where you are today in your life um, with your thoughts, with your feelings. OK, so the next question is, what are you happy with? That's really, really important because we tend to forget that. And that is our happiness is what we're trying to make bigger, make more important, make more, me more meaningful to us um, and attract more happiness to us so that we can feel even more fabulous uh, than we are today. OK, so the next question is, what do you want to be different? All right. What do you want to be different tomorrow? or the next minute than it is at this moment in time okay then the next question is what do you want to change all right now at first you might think those last two questions are the same but actually that they are similar but not the same because we might want something different but we might not want to change it because of the effect it's going to have on too many other people, for example. Or um, it might be that the change is too great at the moment. So although you might want something different, it's about what are you willing to change at the moment? And then what are your options? All right, that's really, really important. Because until you investigate your options, how do you know how you're going to go about take, making that change? All right. 
and these choices that we have are you know are really really important because when you think about it you know the statistics say that we have around 75,000 thoughts a day hello Karina lovely to see you here thank you for joining me um, we have around the average person has around 75,000 thoughts a day and right out of those 75,000 thoughts that we have a day only 5% of the decisions that we make are conscious decisions the rest are made through our subconscious okay. hi Anne lovely to see you here thanks for joining me well I say to say joining us because the list growing which is really really nice okay so getting back to the subconscious and the conscious so the more that we understand our consciousness the more control we have and then the more choices that we have or the more choices that we can make to benefit us in the way that we want them to benefit us okay because the subconscious you know our subconscious mind is very crafty it's very sneaky and it can make decisions that it thinks is going to benefit us but does it you know and this is where our self-talk around our choices and our consciousness is really really important so that we can make informed choices that are good choices that are right choices for us and they are the right choices that are going to affect the people that are important to us in the right way so you know as we talk it's, it sounds if like it's getting really really complicated but if you're struggling with making your choices then it's a go, go about going back to your values that I've talked about in the past linking up with your values what's important to you and I always say this to my clients is you know go back to your values if you make choice a how is that going to affect your values in life or what's important to you in your life if you take option C is that going to be better or worse okay so this is what's really important to understand where you are today and where you want to be going all right so that you can make the little changes all right and it's every little change is a choice all right just like how you know when you wake up in the morning what mood you're in do you want to do you like that mood or are you going to make a conscious decision or a conscious choice to change your mood so you get a, the, the mood and the state that you want first thing in the morning so that you can carry that through the rest of the day all right so again all revolved around choices okay so when you think about your choices okay and taking action the majority of people are only going to take action when the pain of where you are today is greater than the pain of taking action all right now that's a you know that little formula is really important to understand because when we make changes all right hi Helen lovely to see you here with us nice of you to join us when we take action when we start making changes to our life we might lose things that can be painful and to get new things can be painful or hard work all right so this is where you have the balancing act between the pain threshold of where you are now and taking action so when the pain threshold of where you are at the moment is greater than the pain threshold of taking action which is lower you're more likely to make the change and take action all right because that means that you are struggling with where you are now um you know it's having a, a, a much bigger effect on you okay and this is the thing with anxiety and stress and you know people sweeping stuff under the carpet just like I did you know all those years ago oh you're being silly I'm being self-centered um, you know other people more important than me all right 
that sweeping it under the carpet because you're not at that stage of the um, the pain formula to make the change all right um, but it's you know if you want to be in greater control which we're going to talk again about you know in more depth next week then you need to start making choices and making decisions about your choices today rather than leaving it until you drop off the edge all right because when you drop off the edge the um the choices that you make are going to be even more difficult because you are probably going to be in a state where you're finding it very very difficult to understand what's going on in your head what's going on in your heart so the sooner that you start making the choices and making the small changes now you're going to see greater benefits more easily and sooner all right does that make sense if nobody's got any other questions you can always send me a message on a personal message or you know if a bit later you decide that you want to send me a question then just jot it down all right or make the most of a 20 minute free chat with me it's a great way of just talking about a few little bits of issues that you might have or working out how you want to start making some changes and it's amazing you know what you can talk about in 20 minutes all right but choices start making your choices today all right so that you're in a better position for moving forwards for where you want to be in the future all right so next week we're going to be looking at courage all right because it takes courage to make changes all right 